We are Angelo and Ilsa, and these are our children. Raya, Loji, and Kati. Over the past two decades, we have poured our blood, sweat, and tears into building a life and career in the performing arts industry in Western New York. We started off as a vaudevillian duo, singing, dancing, and telling jokes at local ice cream shops. Our business rapidly grew to the point where we were producing, performing in, and selling out full-scale productions. We produce the show, we write the show, we pick the music, we hire the band, direct the show, Ilsa does all the choreography. And the only two employees. Yeah. It's just the two of us. In 2012, we bought a 150-year-old cathedral and turned it into the Spire Theater, also known as the Inspire Development Center, an arts and culture multiplex. It wasn't without challenges, but our business was really starting to take off, creating a gathering place for the community, which is the one thing we know how to do best. But then, We have to close up. The world was turned upside down, and we were forced to close our doors for the foreseeable future. So the five of us are piling into this 2005 Ford E350 shuttle bus and making it our tiny off-grid home on wheels. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can join us on the adventures ahead. I'm Angelo. I'm Elsa. It's Elsa. So, welcome to our first episode ever. We're naming our bus that our whole family is going to be living in the Inspire Engine. So, those of you who don't know us, we are both thespians, we're theater people, and we own a theater in uh, Western New York called the Spire Theater and the building that the theater exists within is called the Inspire Development Center. We call it the Spire Theater because it's an old church and it has a steeple, a really tall pointy steeple. Another word for that is Spire. Very soon after naming the theater the Spire Theater, uh, we realized that it's a, a very inspiring place thought it's kind of a fun play on words, but it also is very accurate for our business. People come to the Inspire Development Center to get inspired, and we do too. We thought it'd be a cool thing to have it be a place where people get inspired to create. So part of our mission for this YouTube channel is to inspire others to create. And if you want to watch our channel and get inspired to live in a bus, then great. But maybe it's just you get inspired to do some of your own handiwork. But when we bought our building, neither of us had really any experience in uh, operating a building, really. I had run a business before that that entailed some maintenance of a large building, but we had maintenance people owning the Spire, the Inspire Development Center. We don't have maintenance people. We have to do all the maintenance ourselves. So we had to learn really fast a lot of things. Never went to school for any of that. Just kind of had to learn as I went. And so did, so did Ilsa. Uh, so... YouTube has been our friend. Yeah, yep. Get things up on the internet. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> YouTube has been our friend. What's funny is we started our business producing events before YouTube really even was a thing. 
Like it might have existed, but I mean, we didn't even. Did we even have internet when we started Big Time Productions back no. in the day? And it's so weird how much it's changed. Everything is technological, and we, our business has run through. You know, having nothing. We were making posters for our productions on construction paper and hanging them in windows, and now we're designing them with computer graphics and printing them and using email. But everything is so different than what we did before. When we started our production company, not everyone even had a cell phone, much less a smartphone. We didn't have smartphones. We didn't even get smartphones until many, many years after everybody else started getting them. Uh, this is making us sound very old. We are very old. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even get smartphones until around the same time that we bought the Spire. You know, we were some of the last people to get on Facebook, and I didn't know to look up videos on YouTube for how to do things until, you know, the last few years. I guess the point is that if we were able to figure it out, even without YouTube, if we were able to figure out how to do some of the things that we've done, then there's no reason why you at home uh, shouldn't be able to figure out how to do a lot of these things too. And we're hoping that we can inspire people. Let's say maybe you're stuck and you have no option but to live in your car. Maybe we can inspire you to not be so afraid that, you know, if, if that's the, the lot that you've been given and you have to live in a car, then you can do it. It's not the end of the world. It's not so bad. You can make it work. If you look at some of the builds that people do and they go all out and use high-end materials and they like completely overhaul and we're doing it with what we already have, buying minimal materials, inexpensive things. And I think that's gonna be the bonus to us sharing what we've done and what you've learned, is anybody can do this. Like anyone, anyone can figure this out. You don't have to have a lot of money. You don't have to have a lot of skills. If you're watching YouTube videos of van lifers who have this beautiful high-end van build, that doesn't mean that you have to do that too can do what you can do and uh, it would be nice but I think for us it's, it's really cool to have our bus be more versatile and not just be a house it can be other things um, and we can experiment and then if we realize oh we didn't run enough wires or pipes or we want to do insulation we, we don't have to rip down some beautiful ceiling or take out a beautiful floor or, you know it's sort of a big experiment yeah. and we wanted to let everyone watch us really know what the future holds for our business in entertainment and theater and all of the big events that we produce. So so this is a good opportunity for us to try something that we never thought we would do. One, because we don't have the time. Two, um, I don't know, there's a whole host of reasons. I don't need to list them. <laughs> I guess um, it's an opportunity that presented itself because of what's happening in the world. And I like to think that we're embracing a form of silver lining instead of being depressed and thinking, oh no, we're going to lose everything. It's all everything we worked for is falling apart. I'm thinking that it's a bit of a, a blessing for us and for our kids to completely change up our routine. We decided to homeschool our children. Um, and we, one of the ways we convinced them that that would be great fun, because they weren't totally thrilled about that plan, but we said, you know, we can take an adventure on our bus and live on the bus and do road schooling and visit some cool historical places. Our daughter is studying U.S. history this year, so we're looking for different places in America that we can go and experience some of that history to help uh, with her lessons. So we're, we're just trying to incorporate as much as we can and look at all of the opportunity that's being presented and not think about how we're not able to do what we been so good at doing for the last two decades. So I think it's pretty exciting and I think it's been a, a gift to us that we're jumping in and doing this. People that know us know we're always kind of up to some weird crazy thing that no one else would really do, like buying a church in, in our little town. We bought this huge church and they thought we were nuts and then we made it into something and so now this is kind of our next crazy project. We thought it'd be fun to do a video log for our friends and family and for us to look back on later. Um, and it's also a creative project for us to learn about filming, you know, the technological aspects of that, which are probably pretty bad.
We have a camera taped to the windshield right now while we're driving. It keeps on falling down. It keeps falling over. Yeah, that's one thing is uh, a lot of people, when, when everything shut down, our theater got shut down, um, a lot of people told us, why don't you just bring it to, bring it online? Do it on Facebook Live or, you know, start a YouTube channel. And we, we just said, you know, that's not, that's, that's not, not our forte. We're live entertainers. We do yeah, live performance. Yeah, we've spent our entire life, uh, our adult life, creating a gathering place, a physical place where people get together. And uh, the idea of creating a gathering place online where people get together without ever seeing each other is just outside of our wheelhouse. It's just nothing that we know. We don't have the the infrastructure for that. We didn't. We didn't own a. We still don't own a. a camera. Like we're, we're filming this on our cell phone. So it's a whole new world for us and we're going to learn as we go with that too and hopefully you stick with us and hopefully we get good at it or at least good enough that you, you want to keep watching. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about sleeping. Okay, sleeping on a bus. So it's basically a 10-seater bus. 12 of you include the front seats. Okay. And there's five of us. Our, our initial plan was pull out some seats and then turn around a couple the seats in the front row so that they face back so we can put some dinette tables between them. So we have two booths that we can sit at and that seats eight people. And Angelo designed some really cool tables that are modular. They can go in and out. Um, it was really innovative and it was really inexpensive. He didn't have any particular skills in how to do that. He just, he's very mechanically inclined. Like you don't give yourself enough credit though. He imagines it in his brain and then starts chopping and fails a few times but then comes up with something that's really quite good. I'm always, uh, I'm always impressed and I usually don't watch because I feel like I distract him or I, I think, no, this is never going to work out and I don't want to discourage him so I usually just go away. Um, you'll see a lot of me just working with her staying out of the way. Um, but a few clips of me coming in and saying, what the heck is this? <laughs> Maybe a lot more of that, who knows. I'm not a good carpenter. No. I'm, I'm de You're definitely not. not. But can I figure out how to get it done? Yes. And his, his stuff looks better and better. Every project he does, the edges are a little smoother. Things are a little more even. Part of the problem is, though, you measure once, and then you have to cut four times. See, yeah, like Elsa likes to, to measure. say, measure twice, cut once. And I like to say, measure once, and say, eh, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't have the patience for that. And something, you know, also really gets mad when I don't use a level, and, but you can't use a level on a bus. And I've seen many, many YouTubers say this, how you just can't use a level on a bus because the bus is never level and nothing is square. And it, you know, so we just do the best we can and get her done. That's kind of- The bus is a perfect place for you to do construction because it can yes. be a haphazard timber and mayhem. Yes, exactly. Um, but it's not, it actually looks good. For table, I cut a piece of plywood, some nice, I think this is birch plywood, and I put L brackets on it. And then I also put L brackets here and here. Also what I've done is I have this leg, which is the height that it needs to be when it's a bed. And then I have this leg that I put on with a hinge and it links in place with just a spring clamp, just like that, nice and sturdy. And locks into place. Good sturdy table with the tablecloth. I've done two of these, one for this side, one for that side. Originally, my plan was to have both tables go down to bed height and then put a queen-size air mattress across the whole thing. And we did that on our first camping trip, and it worked. But that meant that the children had to sleep in the back. What we decided for now is to have this table stay up, have the children, two littles, Loji and Kati, would sleep on the, the dinette there, and then I'll show you what we do for... Uh, Raya, our biggest child. For our 12 year old, Raya, she is gonna sleep on this. Slide these in, actually, just gotta slide those in there, and this in here. 
took these two by fours and just chunks of plywood that I found laying around and screwed them all together. And we can put an air mattress over top of this or we have an old couch, a one cushion couch and that, that one cushion will fit perfectly on this. And then Raya can sleep on this and Loji and Kati, the little ones, will sleep underneath. We put the dinette table down and put a mattress across that that they can sleep on. Now, just to make sure that it's secure and safe and she doesn't, doesn't flip out and have her fall and smash her <laughs> brother and sister, I have this. Goes right in. Just like that. Bolt it on and it, it can't go anywhere. It can slide a little bit side to side but not enough to actually fall off. And once her weight is on there, it doesn't move at all. Um, I can show you. It can even hold my weight. And I'm not a light guy. Works. Plenty of headroom. She sleeps on top. The kids sleep underneath. This is comfy. Is it comfy? You like it? Yes, it's comfy. Nice and soft? But, but one broken. Yeah, that's okay. It's used. It's free. Lay down. What do you What do you think, Kati? I think it's, it's bad because nice. when I wake up, look, if you wake up, um, um, every night and you have a bad dream, you usually I wake up like ah, really fast and I do now do this and hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Loji, you should sleep on the outside. What? Because you're taller. Yeah, so I won't get hurt. And then you'll make sure that, so when you wake up, you won't bump your head. And also you make sure Katya doesn't fall out of bed. And Lay that way and let's see what we think. And then you'll tell me that not to bump my head. Move over, Katya, so Loji can lay down next to you on this side. <laughs> so watch, I wake up. I... You How's dad. that? Yeah, then. And then I go back down. Katya goes up, watch. What do you think? Not too bad? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. It's shabby. It's shabby to me. It's shabby. Let's go up there. Yeah, that's Raya's bed. Can I get up real quick? Go ahead. See what Why you think. Why can't I? Because it's really fun. I want to sleep up here. <laughs> and Kaki sleeps under there with Raya. No. We can have a bunk bed. Yeah, a bunk bed under here. Yeah. A bunk bed! You sleep the bottom! It's Raya! Raya? I don't think Raya would fit under there. Yeah. She, she wouldn't fit up here either. She'll fall. Careful, don't break the glass. Just like that one. Like Papa did. <laughs> <laughs> you broke the glass with the drill. Yeah. I have to get a new win window. Yep. Window. Yeah. You like the new window better though? Yeah. At least five, it opens up. seven. I'm five. You're five and I'm seven. Yeah. Five, seven. Are you guys excited about living in a bus? Yeah. Yeah, but not for so long. What do you mean? We're only going to do a little bit. What for do you mean? like a thousand days. A thousand days? That sounds good. No, not a thousand days. Like one month. One month? A month, um, a day. One month every day? Yep. No, so. no, 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 no. One month every... Sunday. No. Monday. <laughs> no. Every Monday. <laughs> every after we're done at Nana's, every time we're done at Nana's, we go uh, on a field trip. On a big field trip in the bus for a month. Yeah. That'll every be fun. Af every Can I see after we're done at Nana's. Okay? We'll see. <clears throat> Okay, I look like a monster. What about, what, what if we, okay, get back over there. <laughs> hey, what do you, what do you guys think about travel, driving in our bus across the whole world? Yes! Yeah! Don't break it, you go fall backwards if you break. Like, just keep on driving until the end of the world? No, that won't happen, it's not flat. Should, you think we should bring a globe with us when yeah, we go no. on our road trip? No. No? Because, um, because Nana, she's going to give us, um, um, a box 
a puzzle piece that is a map. Cool. That would be great. Awesome. Yeah, and I love doing it. I'm so good at it. It shows the whole United States. Awesome. Yeah, that's I'm so good, good at it. I do it all the time. Okay. Now, when Ryan gets back, I'm going to play Among Us on my phone. Okay, tell anybody watching what they should do. You should subscribe to Among Us. What should they do? Subscribe and ring that notification bell. And thumbs up. Right. Smash it off! Hi, I'm Raya, and today we are building a bed for my mom and dad. Originally, they had to sleep on an air mattress, and I had to sleep on the ground, and I did not like that, so they gave me a bunk bed, and now we need a bed for them. So, let's get started. So, we're going to use a queen size bed frame, but the legs are super short, and we want to have a garage under our bed. Um, we don't want to have to remove the wheelchair lift since we're going to be using this bus as a gig vehicle as well for our band and for catering gigs and things like that, this will come in really handy when we use the bus for those kinds of things. Um, but we do want a bed, it's just not going to be permanent, it'll be uh, semi-permanent. We're going to use PVC pipes, I already cut them to length, to make the legs taller. The legs will be this tall so the bed will be about this tall giving us plenty of room underneath the bed all right let's uh, see if we can make this happen We did it! It wasn't easy, but it wasn't too hard, was it? <laughs> but so we have a bed. Big enough for me and mommy. Of course, we'll lay in it the long way. And then also, underneath, we have a pretty decent sized garage. Hey, Loji or Kati, will you crawl in the garage and show them how big it is? Plenty of room in there. Put it off to sleep in? No, no, to store all of our stuff. <laughs> We're gonna put our extra water in there. We're gonna put all of our material, our supplies, extra food, everything. What Pretty do you good. think? Pretty good? Cool. Yeah, I think. Good. I, I like it. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, so. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you are <were> so stupid. <laughs> so we have a 10 passenger shuttle bus. And we can sleep five of us. Not too bad. Well, why only five? Well, there's only five of us. Well, what if I wanted to bring someone along? What if she wanted to bring someone along? Well, if she, you want to bring someone along, we take this table and turn it into our guest bedroom. So we can sleep six. Do you notice that, how I did this with a thumbs up? <laughs> Maybe they should... Like the video and subscribe Ring the notification bell and smash it all! Smash it all! <laughs> <laughs>